Hello everyone. I want to do an important video which has an important message at this time. It's a very timely video. We're facing a critical time right now. Everybody in the world actually. It deals with Donald Trump and his personality type. And it deals with you. You. And your personality type. We are all aware that there are two completely different, distinct, and polarized contingents of individuals who either instantly resonate with Donald Trump and idolize him and those who are instantly alienated by Donald Trump, even to the point of aversion. Since my interest is in psychology, I became fascinated by the dichotomy of these reactions which are diametrically opposed. What makes it even more fascinating is the personal reaction to the man himself, to the point that people who are against Trump dismiss his policies altogether and instead are overwhelmed by his strong personality. Thus, people either love him or hate him. As far as the so-called undecided voters are concerned, uh, these are just people who are not involved, who are unaware, who are disinterested, or plain unintelligent and especially uneducated. So these people are of no interest to me. They need to go back to school, preferably to another country where they can get a decent education and hopefully they won't vote. So why the difference in reactions to Donald Trump? I immediately suspected that it has nothing to do with Donald Trump himself. That's the interesting part. He's just the catalyst for your response, for your reaction, for your instinctual, visceral, explicit reaction. The content of this video was recorded over some period of time, so in a lengthy, circuitous manner, please bear with me. I will be giving you a detailed and in-depth analysis and explanation of Donald Trump's personality type. And also, importantly, making you aware of your own personality type. Pointing to the reason for your visceral response to Donald Trump in either a positive or a negative manner. Your reaction is actually not contingent on Donald Trump himself, but on your own personality type. This definition of personality types will make you aware of your own personality type as much as that of Donald Trump's. Specifically, it will make you aware of why you are reacting to this person the way you do. Why you are self-destructive, self-annihilating, and ignorantly irrational. To the point of ignorant irrationality. Your actions in this selection which you may not be perceptive enough to realize due to your lack of education mostly, lack of awareness, due to your lack of perception. This election will have dire consequences, not just for the entire world, but most importantly, for you personally. You may not even be aware why you have this instinctual, impulsive, and blatant reaction. With a little consideration of your own personality type, it'll make you aware of why you are reacting to this person the way you do. To the point of you being self-destructive. You being self-annihilating. You being ignorant and irrational to the point of ignorant irrationality. 
your action, your decision in this election depends on your own personality type. And once you understand this, you'll find out something about yourself and you just may, you just may change your mind and your vote. So please have a listen. I thought I would answer some viewer questions and um, this uh, whole alpha and beta thing, type A and B male personality types is very difficult for people to understand and more importantly, difficult for them to accept, for males to accept. They become insecure and they somehow view uh, mainly type B, I guess they view it as an inferiority uh, a situation to be a type B and that's... It's not quite as simple as that. The way to understand this is the direction that an individual will take, which is very different considering his particular personality type. Type A, alpha male, or type B, beta male. The question of which personality type is inferior and which one is superior is going to be determined by each individual on a personal basis and has many ramifications based on your history, history of trauma in your life and what exactly comes naturally to you when you respond to any stimuli in your environment. So it's not a matter of inferior or superior, but it does determine if one is a leader or if one is a follower. Whichever personality type and behavioral direction response that you will take is going to determine what comes naturally to you and what feels comfortable by default for you. Every situation that you're going to run into, your response will be determined by your personality type. Without question, your personality type will determine every action in your life that you will make and more specifically and importantly it will determine on how you respond to anything within a relationship so personality types of the male of men is of paramount importance you cannot expect to get a certain result if it's not intrinsic to a man's personality type, to a particular man's personality type. So you will be determining if a particular response is inferior or superior to an alpha male. A certain direction of response is going to be the preferred choice, the natural choice, the superior choice for the beta male the same response may actually be detestable, reprehensible, highly inappropriate, offensive, insulting, crass. The key word is unfit, as we've heard. Unfit. <laughs> and when considering somebody like Donald Trump, the polarization has a reason. A beta male and an alpha male will consider and view Donald Trump's personality and behavior in a very different light. And that should explain the dichotomy between opinions. So uh, the first commenter says you completely ignore social conditioning. That alone is enough to invalidate a lot of what you say. A lot is interesting and worth consideration. However, to ignore social conditioning just is silly. 
if you think type A must always dominate and type B will always submit, I question your actual knowledge. Uh-oh. I'm in trouble now. Sure, these are general preferences. However, as a type B, I will shoot you in your lying face under certain circumstances. Notice he says, under certain circumstances. Yes, I agree. If in prison, I will stab you in the fucking neck with a pencil. I prefer peace, correct. I don't enjoy problems, correct. And you're right about a lot. And for some reason, this video makes me somewhat more comfortable being a type B. <laughs> he was referring to a previous video that I did that he was watching and which motivated him, provoked him into sending me this message in the comments section. He is insisting that uh, even though he acknowledges that he's a type B beta male, he can become alpha at will any time that he wants or the situation dictates. So he's, he's maintaining, he's contending that he can be alpha any time that he likes. So he can be both alpha and beta male. He's saying that it's his conscious choice what personality type he exhibits or he represents or that is defining of who he is. That his personality type is fluctuating, self-controllable and self-regulated. As you notice, he's also making the mistake that many people make into believing that to become an alpha male, all you need to do is to be aggressive, be criminal minded, be cruel, be brutal, be violent. He thinks that's the definition of an alpha male. So he makes two mistakes here. He thinks he can be both alpha and beta whenever he wants. And he thinks that to be an alpha, he just has to show aggression. Both are wrong. This is about a video that I did previously about male personality types. The type A, alpha male, and the type B, beta male. So let's analyze this comment. Uh, social conditioning does not come into this at all. Nothing, zero. You're either born with one or the other personality type. And it's quite polarized. It's quite polarized. The two are, are very polarized. That's why that when I first mentioned it in one of my one of my first videos on, on this topic, I explained this very interesting situation that uh, when I was walking around with this woman that I spent some time with, uh, she would literally go into any situation and point out Man bunny, man bunny, man bunny. Now that sounds very derogatory, okay? Because <laughs> if you're a bunny, then uh, it's alluded to that you can't be a man. Is that true? Well, it is true to a certain extent. At least you're a very different man if you're a bee. Because it has to go back to hormones. If you lack certain hormones, let's say testosterone, I'm not a physiologist. If you lack certain hormones, you will not exhibit certain behaviors. You will not be predisposed to that way of acting. So you'll act like a bunny. Are bunnies dismissible? Well, no, 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 they're not. Bunnies are not dismissible. Um, bunnies have a lot of value in the world. And a lot of women pick bunnies. More bunnies are picked over men. <laughs> over type A. 
Oh, man. This is like uh, calling all women whores just as bad. Except on the male side. I, I don't know what to do about it. I'm either going to fake it or I'm not going to fake it. And I don't fake anything. I can't. You'll find out later why. Later in this video. The point is, is that if you're put into a situation where you're coerced or you're forced or you're pressured into acting in an aggressive, competitive, dominant, domineering way, that doesn't make you a type A. In fact, I think you will go out of your way not to act that way if you're a type B. The beta male gravitates towards passive aggressive behavior, if at all possible. So even though you are coerced into being overtly aggressive or defending yourself, it does not make you in any way an alpha male. That's just absolutely situational behavior. And that situational behavior makes you very uneasy, very uncomfortable. It comes very unnaturally to you. While an alpha male is overtly aggressive when he needs to make a point, when he needs to engage, when he needs to have authority, when the alpha detects any type of competition in his environment, when he needs to have agency over the environment around him. It comes very naturally to him. He desires it. It's how he functions. It's his natural response, not a situational response. It's his immediate, instinctual, preferred, satisfying, fulfilling, efficacious response. That doesn't mean that he's a criminal. It doesn't mean that he's cruel. It doesn't mean that he's brutal. It's got nothing to do with being an alpha male. Being an alpha male has to do with acquiring validation and the method used to acquire it and the strong motivation behind acquiring validation. It's a very different in style the way a masculine male, a real man, is very different in style from a feminine female. Very different in style in acquiring validation and how they're motivated in acquiring that validation. The difference is where you derive your validation from as a type B beta male and what you are motivated to do in order to obtain validation. So there's two words here to discuss. Very important words. One is validation and the other is motivation. The two are connected. And the difference in the validation source and the type of motivation involved is the difference between the alpha and beta or the type A and the type B personality types. So this is all you have to remember here, the two very important terms in this lecture. One is validation and the other is motivation. And everybody is motivated to receive validation, right? So the the two words that are connected to validation as motivation is where and how. So where comes in as to where you obtain validation from. Do you obtain it from competition or from collaboration? Hmm, you can ask yourself this question. So if you run into a guy on the bicycle trails, do you perceive him as a threat? And do you want to compete against him and beat his ass? 
Or do you want to be his friend and collaborate with him and ride with him? And at the same time, acknowledge and accept and be happy with subordination. Him being better than you are and living with it. Can you live with that? He's better than me. He's better looking than me. He's more successful than me. He's more skilled than me. He can seduce women much better than me. Can you live with that? If you can live with that, you're beta male. You're type B, personality type. If it makes you sick to your stomach and you want to kick his ass, and you don't acknowledge it, and you want to kill him, then you're an alpha male. You're an alpha male. You're in constant state of competition. You're an alpha male. The alpha male is always in a state of competition if he perceives any type of threat, any type of competition from the other individual or individuals. That's why the alpha male cannot be a team player. He cannot. He can either lead the group or not be part of it at all. It's a very difficult way to live. And just watch John, Donald Trump. What is, what is the main act of Donald Trump? What is the one thing from the very first moment when he burst onto the scene a year and a half ago? He was not there to collaborate. He was not there to play the game with the other dudes and girls in politics. He was there to break it all down. He was not going to be part of that team. He's going to create his own game. His own game, which he's going to lead. He's going to invent the rules, and he's going to lead the game. The others can either follow, or they can die. This is the fundamental characteristic of all alpha males. They have to differentiate themselves immediately from the pack. I mean, how can you be a leader if you don't differentiate yourself? You cannot be part of the team. You have to replace the team, destroy the team, rebuild to your own preferences. Build it up again. As you, the leader. You cannot accept anybody being better than you are. I mean, what exactly did Trump do from the very start? Everybody was below him. Everybody was unskilled, untalented, incompetent, weak, stupid, dishonest, crooked, wimpy, cowardice, gutless, low energy, type B personality type. Except he didn't actually say it. But he thought it. Everyone. Because he truly felt that inside with absolute sincerity. And then he set out to prove it. And he did prove it. And look at him now. Look how exceptional this man is. Just consider that he's running against a very corrupt system which is out to destroy him with all their ammunition, the media the political establishment, the Clinton criminal enterprise, the Obama regime, the Republicans, and the instigators, and the fuel behind it all, international Jewry, who have now unmasked and creating naked genocide against whites and Western culture. The Jews have hijacked the world. You have to understand that. Then you know where all comes from. And who's behind everything. It's an unsurmountable fight. And for this alone, Donald Trump is an exceptional man. Nobody can do it. Nobody could do it. And he did. 
fighting against the power and the wrath of the Jews, the unbridled greed of the Jews, the ruthlessness of the Jews. He did it. Let's get him over the finish line. But Donald Trump is in constant competition and he must fight it's its natural state. It's the natural state of the alpha male to fight. And that is not the natural state of the type B beta male. Whose natural state is to be the bunny. The bunny. The beta male is pushing a baby carriage. Who is spinelessly pandering to authority. Pandering to the Jews as he has throughout history in every country of this world and atrocities were always the result when the beta male the bunny kisses ass of the jew atrocities ensue who is looking at his own self-interest who is involved in deceiving and backstabbing his own brother from behind and loves every minute of it. It's his natural state of the beta male. The alpha male is incapable of any of that. Please understand the point I'm trying to make here. The alpha male will always stand up for his principles, even if it leads to his own demise. He cannot do it any other way. The alpha male doesn't weasel his way to success. He does it through conquest. And that's why he's dangerous for the diabolical. Please understand, most men in the world, by far, are type B beta males. Even if he admits it or not. Most often the condition of the alpha male is that everything is against him. And he triumphs. He still triumphs because he will not accept that anybody is better than he is. So if you accept anybody being better than you, you're a beta male. And listen here, fools. You've watched all those silly, stupid videos where you think an alpha male is based on looks? Or an alpha male is based on height? Or an alpha male is based on not giving a shit about women? The aloof male. Ugh. Who doesn't give anything to women. Makes women want him even more. <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, God. My God. Or relationship status. I heard it repeatedly. Just because somebody's married or chases women or fucks women. Oh, you're beta man. You're beta. You're beta man. <laughs> My God. What are you trying to prove? Trying to cover up your own incompetence, your own incapacity. What are you trying to do? Trying to overcompensate for your lack of skill? My God, you better go back there and tell those fools that they're idiots. They're fucking idiots. Alpha male is based on only one thing and one thing alone. Personality type. Remember that. You can be a little weaselly little ugly guy with a pot belly and a tiny dick and bad breath 
and you can be the toughest alpha male there there is in the room because it all has to do with what's inside your personality and you're born with your personality nobody can take it away from you and no you cannot become an alpha male and no you cannot become a beta male either it is not due to your volition it's not your choice you're born with your personality it has nothing to do with you caring for women nothing or that you're married for 35 years nothing to do with that if you're an alpha you're an alpha and if you're not you're not so the two terms validation and motivation now in terms of validation where do you get your validation from in terms of motivation what is the magnitude of your motivation how strongly are you motivated to acquire validation as pathological and maybe weak as it sounds if you don't have a void for validation you will not be motivated to acquire validation you will simply not be a motivated individual and that's what separates the alpha male from the beta male a huge amount of motivation in fact so huge so powerful as to be able to fight the international web of despicable Jews now that's a lot of motivation and it gives you a lot of energy a lot of drive and that's what the alpha male can do nobody else can do the rest of them they kiss ass of the Jews that's what makes this guy different Donald Trump and if you don't like his hair you don't like his looks you don't like uh, the way he talks or whatever first of all you're either an undeveloped female or you're beta male if you're offended but even if you don't like any of that you have to respect him for this one thing he fought and he succeeded he conquered he won and what form does your motivation take what will you be motivated to do to receive that validation to seek that validation to hunt for that validation how desperate are you for validation if you're not desperate for validation you're not an alpha male because you're not motivated you don't have the fire inside of you that motivates you for that validation and it's not money it's not material possessions those things are hollow ultimately they're hollow maybe in the short term you know anybody type a or type b it'll indicate it's an indicator of success or wealth or whatever in the short term but it doesn't last long the much more deeper form of validation is emotional validation and how motivated are you to get it the type B beta male personality is motivated some of them are motivated to make money but the alpha male goes beyond that it doesn't stay with superficiality for the alpha male for the alpha male it must be a much more profound form of validation and he is willing to fight for and he is willing to prove it he wants it to be conspicuous blatant in your face huge this is what I achieved that's what the alpha male needs nothing to do with looks people and nothing to do with aloofness either 
the alpha male is not an aloof individual. In fact, the complete opposite. The alpha male is extremely involved, extremely attentive, extremely engaging. Sorry to you, pickup artists, scammers. It's the opposite of what you say the alpha male is. I know a type B beta male can never be transformed into an alpha male. Because what's missing is the fire. The fire inside is missing. It's not there. How in the fuck can you have an explosion if there's no fucking fire? And the beta male is very uncomfortable with that fire. They'll never do it. It's icky to them. It's threatening. It's imposing. It's just very discomforting. Worst of all, it's antisocial. And the beta male bunny never wants to be seen as antisocial. No, that's detrimental to his image, to his self image. And it's very offensive to the beta male. After all, the beta male just wants to be liked. And being an alpha male is no way to be liked. You're either going to be loved or you're going to be hated. <laughs> to become an alpha male or to even observe an alpha male in action. To the beta male, the alpha male is an offensive pariah with no understanding of even the purpose of the alpha personality. None at all. It's bizarre. It's confounding. It's confusing. Strange. Without description. It's without purpose. It must be diabolical. It must be negative. It must be harmful. It must be tyrannical. It must be criminal, it must be brutal, it must be cruel, inhuman, immoral, corrupt, villainous, sinful, dishonest, and unprincipled? Unprincipled? That's what the undeveloped single woman, the intellectually deprived undeveloped single woman, and that's what the beta male thinks? That the alpha male is unprincipled? For the intellectually deprived undeveloped single woman and the beta male, there's no purpose for the alpha male. Because it makes them uncomfortable. They want gentleness. They want forgiveness for their own immorality. They desperately seek normality and the artificial establishment of normality. The beta male and the undeveloped single female want approval. They want moral license. They want redemption for their indiscretions. They want to be accepted. And they want to be seen as pure as the wind-driven snow, which we know is complete deception. The beta male and the undeveloped single female deceive themselves primarily and they don't want that 
deceptive self-image to be exposed, to be annihilated. And the alpha male annihilates it because the alpha male only deals with reality, truth, merit, and accountability. These are all very detestable words for the undeveloped single female and the beta male, the type B male. And Donald Trump is definitely a threat to their contrived public image and their fraudulent and their idealistic self-identity. And the alpha male is judgmental. The alpha male is always after the truth, after accountability, after merit, being judged on merit and held to accountability. That makes them very uneasy because everything is real and tangible to the alpha male. You can't hide from the alpha male. That's what they're afraid of. The beta male and the undeveloped single female always seek consent, acceptance, tolerance recognition and the enablement for their indiscretions and their vices and they do their best to always avoid judgmentalism anything negative you say about donald trump the alpha male anything you want to say negative it is because you have no understanding or comprehension to the beta male what the alpha male is and why he even exists. No conception, no interpretation, no understanding of the alpha male. This is why personal insecurities will implore any beta male or most beta males to detest Somebody like Donald Trump, for example. Because of two reasons. Incapacity and envy. The beta male. This proves the beta male cannot ever be an alpha male. And he knows it. In fact, the beta male finds it detestable. On one hand... He is very envious knowing he can never achieve, he can never conduct himself, he can never have that motivation for conquest. There is this aversion, this visceral aversion that the beta male holds against any alpha male because of incapacity and envy. Incapacity and envy. Incapacity and envy. But that is completely to their own detriment. Demise. You see an alpha male? Use him to your advantage. He will take you places you cannot get to yourself. Follow where he's going. He has a direction. Alpha males always have a direction and a visceral need to get there. It's all inside. The fire is internal. He wants to show what he's achieved. And it has to be actual achievement, real achievement, not pretense. The beta male is perfectly fine and happy with pretense as long as it looks believable like he has done something. Politics is inundated with that personality type, the beta male, the type B male. Everything just looks. It suffices to have just the appearance like they're doing something. But the alpha male throws it in your face. This is what I've done, like it or not. That's the difference. 
He's not there to please you. He's there to prove to you. There's a big difference between pleasing you and proving it to you. That is where one obtains validation from, either competition or collaboration. The type A alpha male personality type is going to engage in competition. The type B will engage in collaboration. You will automatically gravitate towards the behavior that your personality type dictates to you innately. You're either going to be proactive or you're going to be passive. The alpha male will always be proactive. He will control his environment. The alpha male will attack. The beta male will appease. The motivation part comes in in terms of which direction are you motivated to go into? Competition or collaboration? And that direction of behavior is set. It'll be automatic. It'll be instinctual. It'll be innate, intrinsic to your personality type. Anything different, the opposite, will make you very uncomfortable, even if you're forced to do it. The need for validation engenders motivation. The need for validation is a very powerful motivator. And that's why when you see an alpha male, he's very motivated, high energy. Could you do what Donald Trump does? Highly doubt it, unless you're an alpha male. And then you're driven. Get the fire that drives you to prove, 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 prove. Because he has a very strong need, a desperate need to be validated. It's the medication he needs every day to be validated. The type B male doesn't have a strong motivator. Validation is not a strong component, a strong need of the beta male, but it's a very strong component of the alpha male. His motivation is very strong for validation. We all are after validation. The difference is what we do to obtain that validation. Do we attack or do we appease? What are we going to do? We enter a social setting, workplace, club, party, any type of setting where there's other individuals, political race. What do we do? Do we set out right away to attack or do we set out right away to appease everybody? Now, the true leader is not, does not set out to deceive and to appease or to appease through deception. You have a lot of politicians who appear to appease, but it's through deception. Taking the direction of appeasement makes one very susceptible to being deceptive. Usually the appeaser is going to be surreptitious, is going to be inconspicuous in his actions. A convenient method, a powerful tool that he usually utilizes is deception in order to achieve appeasement and collaboration. Conversely, the alpha male is blatant, raw, is direct in his actions. Because the alpha male can only attack directly. He's not cunning, he's not sneaky, he's not underhanded, he doesn't fight dirty. Right in your face. If he's gonna kick your ass, he's gonna kick it fair and square, direct, with courage. He's not a backstabber. You see the parallels between the alpha male and Donald Trump? That's why he says things right to your face, right to people's face. He says things. It's held against him. Society is not accustomed, is not comfortable with the alpha male. They are so accustomed to the beta male because there's so many of them. The sneaky, deceptive, pandering, unprincipled beta male. Anything different. Wow, what the hell is this? This cannot be normal. But it's actually naked, raw, sincerity, 
You see, this is why the alpha male doesn't lie, because lying doesn't bring him validation. You cannot call an alpha male a liar. They can lie, but they're uncomfortable lying, where the beta male is much more comfortable lying. Deception is not used as a tool by the alpha male. That's why when you look at somebody like Donald Trump, deception is not a factor. It's not an issue. For a type B male, it is very much a concern and a default practice, as we have seen repeatedly. Because for an alpha male, as I said before, it's all about accomplishment, tangible accomplishment, tangible, not pretense, not approximations, not facsimiles, nothing to masquerade. It's direct, tangible achievement, accomplishment. It's the only thing that validates the type A alpha male. And that is where the sincerity comes from. That's why the alpha male, the type A male functions on sincerity. He has no other choice but to do that because it's sincerity that gives him validation. If he knows that he's living a lie or that he's winning by cheating, it defeats the purpose. He does not get his validation and he's starved. He's starved of that nutrition that validation offers. So he must be sincere. That's why when you look at Donald Trump, regardless of what lies you want to believe, because of your insecurities, and your bitter envy of the alpha male. I am telling you that this personality type functions on nothing but tangible accomplishments and sincerity. That's how he becomes dominant. He proves himself to be dominant. That's how he becomes superior. First, he proves himself superior. Take a look at Donald Trump. Take a look at his history. Take a look at his life. Doesn't mean that he didn't fail. Doesn't mean that everything he touches turns to gold of the alpha male. But when an alpha male loses, he loses self-respect for himself. When the beta male loses, he becomes a victim, similar to a female, similar to female nature, femininity becomes a victim and asks for and seeks sympathy. There's a very big difference in the reaction to any stimuli of the alpha male and the beta male. Women who will partner with men must make personality type the number one selector, selecting tool selecting criteria when choosing a mate. Personality type will dictate everything that will happen in that relationship. Everything. Aside from utility, personality type girls will bite you in the ass and you will act to your own detriment if you do not consider as the number one criteria when selecting a mate, personality type. Very few who are the true leaders who attack, who dominate, who want to lead by domination. There are too many that lead by appeasement and it's disgusting. In summary, there are very few who are true leaders, who are natural and comfortable and who seek to be in the role of the leader, who attack, who dominate, who lead by conquest, by conquest, and through actual and profound accomplishments. If you enable and support these individuals to lead, and if you follow them, you will be the beneficiary of their successes.
So where and what? Where you obtain validation from and what you do to get it. This is what differentiates the alpha male type A personality from the beta male, the type B personality. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Remember where it came from. So in essence, the destiny of the world starting this election will be determined by the undeveloped single female and the beta male. All of her fate will be determined by these two types of individuals. And there is a lot of them. Good luck to us all. We have no idea what's coming. You have no idea what's coming. I do.